welcome to episode two of The Rare Hunters. That's right, our new segment where every week we open a new classic, new classic, Yu-Gi-Oh set, and we have to stake our rarest card in the duel that follows. This week, we're playing with Metal Raiders. The second set released in the TCG, it released such cool monsters as Summon Skull, Feral Dragon, and Gate Guardian. And cool spells and traps like Mirror Force, Solemn Judgment, and... Change of Heart. Last week in episode one, we opened Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, so check that out if you haven't already. This time's to be a little bit more exciting because this set has much stronger cards. Real card time. So let's find out what's at stake by uh, opening this box and seeing what we get. And before we hop into the video, make sure you drop a like, of course, comment, subscribe. What's your favorite card from this set? And what would you stake as your rarest card? All right, let's get into it. I finally have time to get my copy of SD Gundam Battle Alliance. If you haven't tried it yet, then I suggest ordering it through Instant Gaming, the sponsor of today's video. Instant Gaming is a website that sells games for all major platforms at discounted prices you can't get anywhere else. This is a $60 game if you pay full price, but on Instant Gaming, it's only $34.84. That's nearly a 42% discount. Crown Instant Gaming today, and if you hit the link in the description, you can enter a giveaway for a free game of your choice. Thanks again to Instant Gaming for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so I've got my Metal Raiders, and I'm ready to open. Now, this actually, fun fact, is a Euro print version of this box. So it was printed for Europe. I don't really know exactly how much that changes, but uh, yeah. All right, guys, here's my packs of Metal Raiders. I have just as many as Paul did, and hopefully that means I'm gonna pull better because I am better. Boring Ocean Snake, Big Eye, Doma the Angel of Silence, Hunter Spider, Heavy Storm. Okay, so we've gotten foils, so these packs are legit. It was a real concern. Super rare uh, magic card, destroys all magic and trap cards in the field. This is going to be very powerful. I'm happy to have it. All right, we got Share the Pain, Petite Moth, Roaring Ocean Snake, Bottom Dweller, Fake Trap, it's false. Skull Knight, Paralyzing Potion, Yado Karu, and Rabbit Horseman. Punished Eagle, Launcher Spider, Bakuri Box. This is used by Pegasus. He summoned it as like a just normal monster, but that's what they did with fusions. Yeah, it's basically on theme with the tunes. We have Thunder Dragon. Oh, guess who's building Thunder Dragons? I just gonna pull your Colossus. Deep Sea Shark, Ancient Elf, Mega Thunderball, Catapult Turtle as a super. Oh, it's got busted, guys. You know how many FTKs this is a part of? Oh yeah, plenty, it's gonna be. Balls and get ftk <laughs> Mystic Horseman, King Yami Makai, Castle of Dark Illusions, and Jellyfish. Crawling Dragon, Ring of Magnetism, Killer Needle, and oh baby! Ultra Rare Summon Skull. This is actually commonly used by Yugi. Um, I remember in the show whenever Yugi would use Summon Skull, it would always like conduct electricity and that would cause some BS thing to happen with the field and it would power up his magnet warriors and, ah, oh, amazing. Look at that. Blast Juggler, Leo Gun, Beam, Steel Scorpion. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> we got Mirror Force! Oh, Paul's gonna need that heavy storm. He better not play it too fast because I got Mirror Force. Ooh! Man. When opponent's monster attacks, negate the attack and destroy all opponent's monsters in attack position. Doma the Angel of Silence, Water Armotics, Armored Zombie, Occubeam, and White Magical Hat. Mulatory, German Faction, Flame Cerberus, and Lava Battle Guard. Kaminari attack. Oh, we are definitely building Thunder Dragons. <laughs> Stim Pack, Morphin Fen, Mass Sorcerer. Illusionist Faceless Mage, Dragon Piper, Soul Release, and Sagi the Dark Cloud. So, uh, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with my pulls. I got some staple cards like, you know, Heavy Storm, which is gonna be handy for getting rid of all of Alex pesky spells and traps. Garni Say Elephantis, and most importantly, and the card I'll be wagering, Summon Skull, ultra rare. All right, guys, so that means I got my Mirror Force, I got Karibo, and I got something else good. I forget, Catapult Turtle. Catapult Turtle. So, I got another great trap to go with my already stellar lineup of traps from the first episode. Check it out if you haven't seen it. But are you ready to put it up that sink as your rarest card? You, you mean, am I ready to add your summon skull to my collection? Yeah, I am. Okay, hey guys, Paul here. So, I've got my deck. I figured I would show you guys privately so Alec can't see. As you guys can see, my deck is a lot different than it was in the Blue Eyes episode. We can maybe cut back to that. So. 
First of all, I've got my new rare card, Summon Skull, as well as uh, Garnesia Elephantis. These are going to be my only tribute monsters in this build now. Actually, I think, no, never mind, I got one more. But yeah, so 2500 attack for a level 6 is going to be huge. I've got an array of effect monsters now. Some of them better than others, but I mean, honestly, effect monsters are better than nothing, because uh, Alec had many your bug last time, and that was really annoying. I've got some new beat sticks that all have very high attack, 16 and 1800 respectively, as well as just replacing all the weaker beat sticks in my old deck with things that are 1500 for a change. A couple of main st or a couple of holdovers from the last deck were Erebi and Skull Redbird, and I still have some 2k defenders. A new one joins the party with Prevent Rat. Now, unfortunately, I don't really have a lot of good spell cards to use. I took all the equip spells and field spells out, and I'm thinking they just won't be super helpful, but still got my Pot of Greeds, got my Swords Revealing Light from last time, and now my Heavy Storm to add to the mix. Since I won't have many traps and stuff set, uh, destroying all the spells and traps shouldn't be a really big deal. I'm going to be experimenting with these two equip spells. So German Infection can actually decrease a monster's attack turn over turn, and uh, Sword of Deep Seed is just a good generally strong equip spell for my monsters. Tremendous Fire is a little bit of burn, I've got the same traps as last time, but with the addition of Robin Goblin, which, if I'm attacking my opponent and inflict any damage to them, I can make Alec discard a card, which is going to be huge. So yeah, this is what we're working with. Hopefully it goes pretty well. All right, guys, so check out my list that I'm using for episode two of the Rare Hunters. Just some quick things to note. I've changed up virtually all my monsters, except for a few high-impact ones, like my effect monsters, my 2000 defense monsters, and my two prizes from the last episode. Spoiler alert. I also kept this card because uh, it's still trap removal and I don't know how many Paul's going to be running, but I think as the series gets keeps going, having trap removal will be will get better and better. We still don't have anything that easily does it. Still running these, great draw power. I'm running a lot of cards just to help me get over problems. Uh, Shield and Sword helps me deal with those 2,000 defense monsters because they have very weak attack. Uh, block attack will help me deal with anything that just Anything that gets big but has no defense. Fisher is just a great removal card. Stim Pack actually lets me beat over things with my kind of middling like 1500 attack monsters. Same thing for Sword of Deep Seated though. Uh, they this one has a drawback and decreases the monster's attack, but I only need to get only to get it off once. And, and then this one it just it's just good. I just like it. Paralyzing Potion, that it'll help me deal with any monsters I get on the board and I can't answer it. Though, I mean, you've seen the control cards that I have in this deck. I should be able to deal with any monster that hits the board. But if I can't, that's where Paralyzing Potion comes in. And uh, yeah, that's the list. Um, I'm gonna see how many uh, monsters I can contribute for these guys. You know, maybe them for game, I don't know. Oh, and the controversial pick, who was right in the middle that I should have talked about. Uh, yeah, Jiragamo at 2200. He's huge, but of course, if you call the coin flip wrong, you lose half your life points. That's a bit of a gamble, but uh, with 2200 out of a normal summon is too big to pass up, so let's see what happens. I'll wager my summon skull. I'll wager my mirror force. All right, guys, it's time for the match you've all been waiting for. Yes, rare hunter. Let the hunt begin as I cut your deck and make sure you're not cheating because that's what we do in the Merrick organization. And I'm going to hunt down your summon skull. Eh, not if I hunt your mirror force. Both cards will be really good additions to either deck, so I'm there's actually something on the line here. Hit you with it and then take your summon skull. Uh, it really is like a race to see who can reach their rare cards first because mirror force or summon skull will definitely change the game. I'm going to start this duel, Hunter, by summoning mine. Jirai Gumo. Oh, you are a He's wild got man. 2200 attack, but if I attack with him, I have to flip a coin, and if it's heads, he can attack. If it's tails, I lose half my life points. He still gets to attack, though. Which is crazy. All right, you're moved to us. I feel like when that card was made, they meant that he couldn't attack. Oh, if no. You, if you call it wrong, way. you just reduce your. This is before attacking. Reduce your life points by half. For attacking. Okay, that's what they say. Alright. Yeah, 2200. Just hope I get lucky. Alright, so I will. Oh, this is so dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna normal summon my Jirai Gumo. Oh, you have one too. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay, let's see. I'll set a card face down and I'll end my turn. Oh, you don't want to attack with your Jirai Gumo? Ah! Well, I'm gonna draw a card. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, since you won't attack, he's scary because, like, he 
can't even, like, just to run into him is is a risk. Yeah. And he can swing over the 2k defenders. Yeah, he's a, it, it's just a great monster. He's a scary monster, no one wants to use him. I honestly think the best, the best case scenario was for me to summon mine with yours on the field. We're play now we're playing chicken. All right, I'm gonna set a card face down. That's my turn, duelist. <laughs> turn. Draw. I don't want to summon anything because I'll just die. But like, also, I mean, guys, we're stalling with a 2200 attack monster. <laughs> this is the best possible start to this because who knows where it goes. It's like, it's like, do you do you want to take the numbers? Mm -hmm. like, be honest, I don't. Yeah, I, I don't either. All right. And my turn. I gotta figure out a way to deal with him. So, I'm going to activate my Germ Infection. What's that? Do? So, I'm going to equip it to your Jirai Gumo. A non-machine monster equipped with this card will have its attack decreased by 300 points each standby phase of yours. Oh. It says at each of its standby phases. I'm assuming that's yeah, its control. Sounds like it's gonna be. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, with that, I'm going to pass my turn. You ain't right. I ain't. <laughs> All right, your move. Let's draw for turn. Standby phase. Standby phase means you lose 300. We'll keep track of it with this material chance. All right, so now my Dragomo has become He's useless. 1,900. <laughs> I mean, or he's still pretty good. Basically useless. Still pretty good, but you know. With time, you'll become weaker and weaker until I can safely swing over him in two more turns. Switch my Dragomo to defense mode. Huh? Smart. I'll have my turn. I'll draw for my turn. Alright. Time to mount something of an offense. By normal summoning an old friend, Araby. He has 1500 attack points. I activate Trample. Never mind, Duelist. Hunter. My Araby is destroyed. Your move. Draw for turn. With another passing standby <laughs> phase, your Jirai Gumo loses another 300 attack points. He now sits at only 1,600, offering very little to you. I did what I had to do. <laughs> All right, just making that clear. I did what I had to do. And you still have to get rid of mine. Uh, we'll figure that out when the time comes. <laughs> yeah. I'll set a car face down. And I'll end my turn. All right, that means I can draw. Let's see how you deal with one of the newest additions to my deck, my Hiosubi. It has 1,500 attack points. Okay. And normal summon it to the field. Into the battle phase. Yosuke is going to attack your Jirai Guma. Goodbye, Jirai. Oh, do I want to take the risk of attacking your face down card? That's up to you. I don't know if I want to. I mean, just, there's so many problems here. <laughs> um, right. Mirror move. Draw for turn. I will flip some of my Mask of Darkness. Oh. I can target a trap card in my grave, my trap hole, and add it to my hand. Interesting. Okay. That is a strategy. A real strategy. Trap holes are frightening. Yeah, 1500's a lot, man. <laughs> that is a lot. 2200's a lot. That makes me upset. <laughs> you have a trap hole to reuse. Not I'll fair. set a monster face down, and set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. Alright. And draw. Another new monster. Oh. My Blackland Fire Dragon. A dragon that dwells in the depths of darkness. Its vulnerability lies in its poor eyesight. You got every 1500 attack monster, didn't you? Maybe. <laughs> All right, I enter the battle phase. Yosubi with 1500 is going to attack your Mask of Darkness. It has 900. Mirror Force. Prepared a special surprise. The power of my Mirror Force trap card. Wow, a very <laughs> unkind of you, Duelist. <laughs> You saw your most powerful card. I should have switched my Jirai Gumo or something to defense, but that would have just made it useless anyway. <laughs> All my monsters are destroyed. Goodbye. Wow, duelist. Wow. Your move. <laughs> <laughs> I am peeved. Oh man, that really that You baited me. Out. See, I thought that was a trap hole. It was bait. <laughs> you guys should have flipped my heavy storm. So I'll tribute these two monsters. Oh, a tribute summon. For the blue eyes. Oh, you're wrong for White that. White dragon. You're wrong for that. That's my blue eyes. <laughs> well, you won't be obeying you because I'm activating trap hole. Oh. Since you normal summon blue eyes white dragon, it's going to be destroyed. That's fair. <laughs> Bye, blue eyes. All right. And, yeah, and, and, and there's no monster reborn <laughs> for either of us. Gone. All right. <laughs> so when things are gone, they're just... When monsters are gone from trap guards, they're just gone. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll set a card face down. Now what could that be? And I'll end my turn. Say hello to another new monster. Oh my gosh, you need to Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. 1500 attack points. This monster moves so fast it looks like an illusion to mortal eyes, so you can't even see it. I can see it. What was that? What was that? Enter battle phase. Oh, I'm thinking. Oh, you're thinking. I might just try to pull it. You might. I might. You might not. I also might not. You have, neither of us have even taken any damage yet. Yeah, you're good. Gazelle, attack his life points directly. Take it. 1,500. <clears throat> I gotta rethink things. My big play got blown up now, so. It's your move. My Gazelle is alone on the field. Draw. I'll activate the spell card. Pot of Greed. Oh, wow. Okay, draw your two cards. Is that what it does? It's too late to ask that now, fool. Set a card phase down. And I'll end my turn. I draw to normal summon. Urabi once again. Attack his set monster. You hit Spirit Art. Oh, 500 damage. I'm on the board. You really didn't have to use Trample after all. All right, well, your move, Rare Hunter. That's right, your my move. move. Wow, so prolonging the duel, I see. I do what I gotta do. We're on the dual duelist. Now that's my turn. Zero. All right, it's time. My Irby is going to use its claws. You don't want normal first? I don't. Oh. I enter the battle <laughs> phase, and I attack your set monster with 1500. Prevent right, 2000 defense. Wow, <laughs> duelist. Okay, I see how it is. We can't hear. We're gonna go to the main phase two then. We're gonna set a card face down. And pass turn. All right, draw. I will normal summon my blue winged crown. Ooh, rude. With sixteen hundred attack. Okay, your crown might be powerful, but that doesn't mean it'll win you the duel. It'll win this battle. Enter battle. Battle. Blue enter. winged crown. Attack his so-called king. No, my king of mythical beasts is destroyed. I take one hundred, leaving me at sixty-nine. Nice. nice. Okay, well, does that end your turn, Duelist? We both need help. We both seriously need help. <coughs> We're working from there, I think. Those are probably the jokes that get made all the time around there. Sure. That, that's what flies for Merrick is like 16 years old. He probably laughs at that like every time they say it. Okay, I'll end my turn. All right, I draw for my turn. I will normal summon my own blue winged crown. It also has 1600 attack points. I'll just like trap your hole. My blue winged crown is destroyed. <laughs> well, that's okay. I didn't need it anyway. For I have something even more powerful. But for now, I have to switch air view defense. Yeah, you get defense mode. I pass my turn. All right, let's draw. I normal summon Urabi. Oh, you have one too. You speak the language. Language of what? Of okay. drag or dinosaurs with 1500 attack and 800 defense. <laughs> All right, enter battle. I have my Irby attack your Irby. My Irby's destroyed. And I would attack your face down, but I have a strong feeling I can't get over it. Do you think so? And I'll end my turn. I'll do it. It's time to set another monster face down. This oh, one might come in handy for me. And I pass my turn. Let's draw. Although getting over your Irby will be a bit of a struggle, I think I might be able to eventually mount some sort of an offense. Let's go to battle. Battle phase. Let's and test them up. I have my blue wing crown attack this face down. You attack. My spirit of the harp. <sighs> Take the four In the off. same zone as your spirit of the harp. They're both playing the harp. All right. Well, I'm Samara gone this far. Irby, attack the other face down. You got lucky. You attacked. Giant soldier of stone. I didn't get lucky. Exactly. <laughs> You take 500. Oh my gosh, all right. Say hello to my very powerful defenders. I don't know, that's fair. I will, I'll set a card face down. I guess I'll end my turn. Wow. That's right, do it. Um, all right. I'm going to set one card face down. And it would be nice if I could actually swing over one of your monsters. But you can't. I'll end my turn for now. All right, let's draw. What will you do against my 2k defenders? I don't know. Draw your Trihorn Dragon, perhaps? If Shoot, it's still in your I deck. hope so. Don't tell me you gave up on your Trihorn Dragon after it led you to victory. I'll never give up on my card. 
not you. I'll set a card face down, and I guess I just gotta end my turn. All right. Let's jump. Normal summon Skull Red Bird. 1550 attack. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're bigger than my hero, at least. Into the battle phase. My Skull Red Bird will attack your hero. I'm sorry, hero. 50 damage. Not bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm dealing the damage this time around, I'll tell you what. You're moved away. Draw for time. I'll normal summon my Ryu Kishin Powered. Oh, he's it's powered 1600. up. Huh? Be the bigger version of Urbi. Urbi. So I'll be taking that 50 back. Ryu Kishin, attack Skull Red Bird. I take 50 as well. I'm no longer at 69, I'm now at 68.50. Not nice. Not nice. <laughs> and I'll end my turn. Euro, tribute my two monsters. Oh my gosh. To summon Garnesia Elephantis in attack mode. Did you really think I was gonna let that through? I did. Because I am. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's very good. I'm going to enter the battle phase. Bring it on. My Garnesia Elephantis will attack your Ryu Kishin power. I gotta take it. Well, when I declare my attack, Whoa. I'm going to activate a trap card, Robin Goblin. Woo! Each time one of your monsters inflicts damage to your opponent's life points, one card is randomly selected from your opponent's hand and discarded. I got a lot of cards, though. Yeah, I know. He <laughs> currently has how many cards in your hand? Is it six? Six. All right. Destroy Ryu Kishin Powered for 800 damage. damage. And now, say goodbye to a card in your hand. I should have just activated this last turn when I attacked you, but I didn't. Oh, yeah. That would have been great. It would have been great. <laughs> but hey, it kept me guessing on what the phase down was. That's true. It was all strategy, you see? All right. Six cards. Say goodbye to this. What is it? A Pale Beast. Okay. Your move doors. All right, draw. Going for the gold, folks. Harmony. I flip summon the man eater bug. No, my Garnisa Elephantis is destroyed. I had a droid. And then, I'll tribute for the tri-horned dragon. Ooh, brutal. I knew he would make an appearance. Yes. I guessed it. Tri-horned dragon, attack for 2850. Two, eight, five, and zero. And then Blue Wing Crown for 1600. Ooh, the holograms are hurting me. Now, what will you do? End turn. Draw. I will activate a spell card. You know what it does. I don't know. Pot of Greed. Oh, God. This spell card allows me to draw two cards from my deck. I already used it, Paul. I we all one. know that. I draw two. My sores are revealing the light. Come on. This prevents man. you from attacking my monsters for three full turns. And now, I will set a card face down. And another card face down. Your move? You ain't right. <laughs> this duel's not over yet. It's clearly not. <laughs> yeah, this, this duel's not over yet. Draw for turn. Wow. Wow. It'd be nice if you had Heavy Storm, yeah. wouldn't it? You really would. Do really have would. I hold that card? Even though I didn't get to destroy your mirror force, I'll still destroy your soul with my powerful cards. You gotta sit here. Oh, uh, this, is, this is frustrating. All right, I will end my turn. End your turn, you say? That's one turn down for Swords of Revealing Light. I'm going to activate, or rather flip up, my Magician of Faith. I can select a magic card in my graveyard and return it to my hand. Oh. I've got a number of very useful spell cards in my game. I'll equip Germ Infection to your Tri-Horned Dragon. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. And finally, let's Tribute Magician of Faith oh, to summon wild. Shadow Ghoul, oh. the other level 5 monster. It increases its attack by 100 points for each monster in my graveyard. Wait, that's what it does? That's what it does. Wait, that card's kind of... It's kind of good. So, I have one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve monsters in my graveyard, giving him twenty-eight hundred attack points. So now I'll enter the battle phase and have my Shadow Ghoul attack Blue Winged Crown. Wow. Uh, the twenty-eight that means you take twelve hundred damage. And don't forget my Roblin Goblins on the field. So you'll have a random card discarded from your hand, Rare Hunter. Six cards. Right six cards. Well, this one's going. Your Paralyzing Potion. Oh. What is that? What's this do? Very useful card. 
Wow, this would have been great to have against my Shadow Ghoul since it stops non-machine monsters equipped with it from attacking. A shame that you don't have it in your hand anymore, thanks my Robin Goblin. All right, Duelist, well, I think that's gonna be the end of my turn. Back to you. Okay, all right, let's draw. During the standby phase, my German Fection is going to decrease the attack of Trihorn Dragon by 300. It's now 2550. 25, still 2800. I couldn't swing over it last turn. But next turn, I'll be able to attack your Trihorn Dragon and destroy it. That's tough. That is tough. I will switch my Trihorn Dragon to defensive mode. Since uh, it'll just get spawned anyway, there's literally nothing. Saving to yourself about that. the card loss. And then I'll set a monster face down and end my turn. Alright, I draw. So two turns have passed in which you couldn't attack me. And you've done a lot in these two turns. I made them count, you might say. And now let's see if I can do even more. Don't. Mm. Just don't. I'm going to normal summon my Pale Beast. It has 1,500 attack. That's really all it's here for. All right, Shadow Ghoul is going to attack your Tri-Horned Dragon. I'm sorry, Dragon. It's just, you mean, it's, it's 28. I'm here. You know? And with him destroyed, my German faction does go to the graveyard. It's a little unfortunate. And unfortunately, Pale Beast is not strong enough to do anything. So, it's going to end my turn, Duelist. All right. This is crazy. Draw! What you do against my unbreakable field of a, a single turn of Swords of Revealing Light? I'll set a card face down, set a monster face down. And that ends my time underneath your swords. My swords may have vanished, but your disadvantage has not. That's true. Uh, this, uh, this was a costly series of plays. Costly is right to do list. It's now time to take a bite out of these life points of yours. I normal summon my armored lizard and attack him. I'll enter the battle phase. Shadow Ghoul. Attack. Spirit of the Harp. That's fair. And my pale beast will attack this monster. 15 hits. Yeah, he lands well. And finally, armored lizard. Attack his face down monster. I know this guy's gonna die, my Hyosube. And now, I end my turn to it. <sighs> Can you make the comeback you need? Or will we finish this game next turn with my Shadow Ghoul? Draw! I activate my face down card. Block attack! What? We're switching your Shadow Ghoul to defense mode. Oh no, he's only got 1300 defense. Well, sheesh. And then I'll normal summon my seven colored fish. Ooh, ooh this is actually not good. <laughs> okay. Respect the fish. I was so close to winning easy. <laughs> I, I was close to winning easy. Well, not easy. I had to work for it, but you know. I have my fish attack your shadow ghoul. Shadow ghoul, unfortunately, will not be dying this turn. I activate two-pronged attack. I destroy two of my monsters and one of yours. Pale beast and armored lizard are both getting destroyed. Destroy your seven-colored fish. And with his destruction, my Shadow Ghoul gets to stay in the field. I even have 14 oh. monsters in my grave now, so it'll be 3,000 attack points next turn. I don't even know. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Okay. I'll set a card and I'll end my turn. All right, that means I can draw Heavy Storm to destroy all the spell and trap cards in the field. Including my Robin Goblin. Trap hole and a Robin Goblin of your own, huh? Wow, I see how it is. I, think, uh, I, I kind of, I was like, I, I think it's gonna happen. I see how it is. I I, uh, well, you know what, Duelist? Main phase two, I'm gonna set a card face down. And. Normal summon my ground attacker Bug Raw uh, to the field. The worst thing you could summon. Your move. Alright. Draw! Seems the gods aren't done with me quite yet. I activate the spell card. Shield and sword! Oh, I see. I will I swap see. the attack and defense of all 
your monsters. Shadow Ghoul and Ground Attacker Bugroth. Wow, okay. Clever, clever. And then, our normal summon, Ground Attacker Bugroth. Smart. I'm assuming that... Yeah, it won't affect you yeah, okay. so... And now I have my Ground Attacker Bugroth attack your Shadow Ghoul. With only 13, that means I'm going to take 200. I guess you did manage to get rid of my monster after all. Hmm. I appreciate it. And then I'll set a card face down and end my turn. Draw. I tribute my ground attacker Bugroth for my rare Summon Skull. Here's what I've got. The mighty Summon Skull. I enter the battle phase. Summon Skull attacks your ground attacker Bugroth. I'll take it. 1,000 damage. And now to your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. Are you admitting defeat, Duelist? I'll set a card face down and end my turn. I draw. I'll enter the battle phase and attack with Summon Skull. You hit my cannon soda. Okay. Well, <laughs> what are his stats? Oh, he's, 14, he's rather small. 13. In my main phase, too, I'm going to set a monster face down. You move. All right, draw. I have to rely on this. I'll activate the spell card, Pot of Greed. Okay, draw your two cards. You better hope they help you. Because you don't have many options left, Duelist. I literally don't. <laughs> I know. Good. I set a card face down and end my turn. All right, I draw. I summon my white magical hat. When it inflicts damage to you, you have to discard a card from your hand. And now, that kills the advantage from Pot of Green. I will flip my Sangin. I will use my. Hmm. Do I want to risk what that might be? Don't you know they say risk it for Master Merrick's biscuit. <laughs> I'm going to take the risk and attack with my Sangin. <laughs> Such a fool! You hit! It actually was Black Lion Fire Dragon. Oh. <laughs> Good! We're going to take everything from you then. White Magical Hat, attack for 1,000. I'll take 1,000. And you have to discard the card in your hand. Goodbye, Reaper of the Cards. Oh. And now, my Summon Skull, attack his life points directly! 2,500! Ding, 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 ding. That means I win this duel. Darn it. And in the process, I win your most valuable prize card. My blue eyes white dragon? No. Your mirror force is mine. All mine. Eh, eh, eh. It was a good game, Duelist. It actually really was. But I came prepared to win. God. Mostly Shadow Ghoul due to Shadow Ghoul. The heck out of me. I, I gotta. Yo, did y'all know what Shadow Ghoul did? Because I should. <laughs> yes. Well, Duelist, I have won this week, and that means I'll be taking your rarest card. Just take it already. That's right, guys. I win Alex Mirror Force card. In this <laughs> duel. <laughs> and I get to keep my Summon Skull. Woo! Yeah, guys, this is my total and complete loss. Paul pulled better than me, and he won the game, so. I don't know if I pulled better. Man, you got a heavy storm, too. Yeah, I guess that's true. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of The Rare Hunters. Next week, we're going to be opening Spell Ruler, which introduces a lot more strong cards. AKA, my comeback story. Yeah, we'll see about that. So yeah, let us know what you think. As always, leave any suggestions in the comments. We did try to read as many as we could from the last episode so we can incorporate them going forward. That's gonna be it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a study.